Alex Morgan on Alex Jones, not to be confused. Um, so here we are. This is InfoWars, and this is Alex Jones up here. Now, InfoWars uh, portrays itself as a site where you go to find information the mainstream media, the biased mainstream media, will not tell you. However, a lot of the content on here, people point out, is uh, inflammatory, it's conspiracy theory um, laden, and a lot of people are accusing this of being a platform for fake news. Well, um, Infowars, of course, seeing itself as fighting against the establishment. Well, the establishment itself, if you include Facebook and big tech companies, have been challenged over the years about why they still include content from Infowars. Perhaps the most controversial of all the content that's been hosted here is in 2012, um, Alex Jones said that the Sandy Hook elementary school shooting in which 20 children were gunned down was a hoax. It involved conspiracy act, uh, it involved um, uh, crisis actors. And that is a straight up conspiracy theory. People died in that incident. So a lot of people after that asking why on earth were platforms supporting his content? Well, um, Facebook just last month was asked about this and they said, well, we see pages on the left and the right, uh, which people call fake news, but it's against our policies to go and take them down. Well, now there's been a full um, 180 degree turn from Facebook and other platforms, a domino effect, if you like. Alex Jones himself tweeting to say that Facebook, Apple, Spotify, as well as that YouTube, have taken down his content. Now on YouTube, he had over 2 million subscribers, 2.4 million. His page on Facebook, his pages had roughly 2.5 million subscribers, not an insignificant number. Now, Alex Jones here saying that this was an attack, not just on him and his content, but on free speech overall. At the bottom, he says here, we are all Alex Alex Jones now. So he's portraying this as an attack on free speech. Other people saying this is taking down hate speech. Facebook in their statement saying his content incited violence. It was dehumanizing towards transgender people and Muslims and contravened the site's uh, rules. Well, Needless to say, Alex Jones is not banned everywhere. There's Gab. This is a social media platform which has become the home for many on the alt-right, saying Alex Jones is free here. You can, you can find his content here. Free speech is on our platform. Now, it's been very controversial, the fact Alex Jones remained on mainstream platforms, but perhaps quite as long as he did. Rebecca Morgan here saying um, the fact he was still on these platforms after the elementary school shooting baffles me. She says it baffled her. Um, the First Amendment rights should not protect conspirators, is her view. But other people, free speech advocates like Eric here saying, well, hang on a minute. If he's really so, uh, if, if he's really so uh, crazy, as he says here, then surely you can defeat him with arguments. Censorship isn't the way. Have the argument, have the discussion. Well, needless to say, uh, the conspiracy theorists themselves getting behind this, saying the the reason this content has been taken down, alluding to it, is because the platforms, they don't care about Alex Jones, according to this user, they care about the interests of the left. So, many views, what are your thoughts? Is this a necessary move against hate speech or an attack on free speech? You can let us know using hashtag the cube.